Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Hit that like and subscribe button. Now that the smoke's cleared, the dust is settled, we're about a week removed from Tyson Fury versus Francisco Pinata. Tyson Fury won the fight. Deontay Wilder entered the ring during the post fight interview. They did their little face off. We know the fight's happening next. Tyson Fury is going into this fight feeling extremely confident, or at least that's what it seems like to me from the article I just read. But we're going to break it down a little bit and explain to you why this fight just isn't going to live up to the hype. You know, two and a half years ago, if this fight had taken place, I really feel like it would have been a great fight. Tyson Fury coming off of a win against Vladimir Klitschko. Deontay Wilder eager to prove himself to his fans and his naysayers. This would have been a great fight, an epic fight. But unfortunately, Tyson Fury hasn't fought or hadn't fought anyone after he beat Vladimir Klitschko for about two years. And he took two interim fights <laughs> with two bums. Let's, let's just call it what it is. There were two bums. Now, I saw the Tyson Fury pinata fight, and the guy looked like a pinata because he was getting hit, wasn't throwing any punches. I'm not sure how someone like that prepares you for Deontay Wilder. Some people want to provide excuses and say that Tyson Fury was just trying to get rounds in. And, well, I'll let that one slide. Let Tyson Fury get his rounds in to try to shake off some of that ring rust. But... If you try to compare this version of Tyson Fury against the version of Tyson Fury that beat Vladimir Klitschko, you need to take a much closer look at both of those fights. In the Klitschko fight, Tyson Fury displayed superior head movement, superior footwork, looked fluid in his movements, very hard to hit. But then I look at this fight against him and Pinata, and the head movement was somewhat there. The the foot speed was a little a little slower. He didn't look that good. He didn't look that good at all, and the opponent that he was fighting didn't force his hand, didn't force him to to dig deep to give us more, more of what we're used to seeing, right, from Tyson Fury. How can Tyson Fury beat Deontay Wilder? Well, Tyson Fury says you can't hit. You can't knock out what you can't hit, right? Would have made perfect sense a couple of years ago. But I can almost guarantee you Tyson Fury will Tyson Fury will get knocked out. You see, you don't come back to the ring after a two and a half year hiatus after fighting bouts of depression, drug addiction, alcoholism, suicidal ideation, gaining over 100 pounds. You don't come back from that in prime form. This Tyson Fury that we saw last weekend, that's not the real Tyson Fury. He can train as much as he wants to. Hit the treadmill, the bike, Stairmaster. But it's not going to matter. Because when he fights Deontay Wilder, we all know what's going to happen. And then I guess the, the next thing is, does Deontay Wilder get credit for this win? Does he get credit for beating a man who is a shell of his former self? Well, to answer that question, did you guys give Anthony Joshua credit for beating Vladimir Klitschko? For the most part, no. I can tell you one thing, though. After Deontay Wilder knocks out Tyson Fury, then he will have secured something that AJ wasn't able to secure. And that is being the real champion. 
Because whether you like it or not, Tyson Fury is the Laniel champion. And if I was Deontay Wilder, I would have took I would have took this fight too. Perfect timing to fight Tyson Fury. Perfect timing. Tyson Fury's not ready. I would have liked to see him take a couple, maybe one more fight, one or two more fights, right? If, if not, one more fight against a a B level fighter. Not a pinata, not not someone like that. Somebody who was gonna bring it, right? Anybody, just anybody, any name. Give me a B level fighter, just to see where he's at, just to see if he can really show shades of OG Tyson Fury. But you can't sit here and tell me that Tyson Fury looked incredible in his fight against. Francesco Pinata. You can't tell me that shit. I'm sorry. Deontay Wilder is about to get away with highway robbery. But it makes perfect sense though, right? Because in beating Tyson Fury, he really gets to, to put a statement on what he's asking for from AJ and Eddie Hearn. It's a negotiation tactic. Because in 20 years, no one's going to look at Deontay Wilder's record and be like, oh, Tyson Fury. Oh, wait, he was fat and out of shape, drugged up, suicidal. No one's going to remember that shit. For the most part, nobody's going to remember that. They're going to see the name and they're going to be like, oh, okay. That's a good name to put on your resume, right? But right now, we're living in a moment, so we know what's really going on. It sucks, man. I wanted to see this fight a couple years ago. You know, I was deprived of that. I'm a consumer, man. I say what I want about these fighters. They're on TV for my enjoyment my entertainment i'm not a fighter that's not my job it's not my job to go in there and train for a 12 round fight that's not my job you know radio rahim ain't a fighter radio rahim ain't no boxer so of course if he were to get in the ring with pinata he's gonna get knocked out he ain't no fighter but you ain't knock out pinata did you tyson fury so what are you talking about when you put yourself out there, you open yourself up for criticism. That's just how it is with all sports, basketball, football, baseball. <laughs> We're all critics. I mean, that's just how it is. It's how it's always been. We're always going to criticize professional athletes. Why are you so mad for it? Why is everybody on YouTube so upset? You know? Honestly, you know, Kenny Porter, you know, we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that in another video because I still got to talk about Kenny Porter, bum ass. But back to Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Deontay Wilder was smart to take this fight. Uh, Frank Warren is clearly cashing Tyson Fury out. It sucks, man. I could be wrong, though. You know, this could end up being a great fight. I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. It's not a huge deal. I'm not tripping about being wrong about any of this. It's just boxing. Tyson Fury could come out there and surprise us and box circles around Deontay Wilder. I just don't think it's going to happen. I believe Deontay Wilder is going to knock out Tyson Fury inside of six rounds, if not less. Like, Fury just doesn't have any power. Like, in the Pinata fight, man, he didn't have any power. And he looked to be coming on a little bit stronger in later rounds, but it didn't matter, man. This ain't Tyson Fury. I don't know who this guy is. This ain't the Gypsy King, bro. So, if you're a Tyson Fury fan, if you're a Deontay Wilder fan, it don't really matter. It doesn't matter. Like, like it doesn't matter what you say. Deontay Wilder is going to knock out Tyson Fury later this year regardless of how 
attached to Water Fury or Wilder. That's just how it's going to go down. Is this the biggest fight this year? I mean, probably not. The pay per view is probably not going to do that great. I mean, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking the pay per view is not going to do that great. Uh, Canelo and Triple G's pay per view is probably going to do way better than this. You know, I'm not a big fan of Golden Boy, but that's probably how it's going to be. I'm hoping this is a good fight, man. I just, I don't like the fight. I don't have to like the fight. I'll watch it, though, in hopes that Tyson Fury looks good. I mean, I watch both of these guys in the ring. I mean, Deontay Wilder, you guys think I hate him, but I mean, I don't hate Deontay Wilder. I just expect more of him. I expect more from the, the heavyweight champion in the U.S., man. I expect more from this dude. Like, I know he, I know he's better than what he's shown us. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what that's what gets me heated. The fact that in 40 fights, he's accomplished so little, man. And that's the shit that be bugging me. I mean, I was supporting Deontay Wilder from the beginning, man. But it's just let down after let down. Like, you're not fighting the best available competition out there. Your team's not making the right moves for you. Like, Deontay Wilder could have had the IBF belt. Like, he could have had the WBC and the IBF belt. Like, how is Charles Martin going to win the IBF championship and then end up going over to the UK to fight Anthony Joshua? You mean to tell me they couldn't pay? They advised by the same dude, Al Heyman. You telling me they couldn't pay Charles Martin five, six million dollars to take that fight with Wilder? But somehow... Deontay Wilder has $50 million to just blow like that? Like, come on, man. It doesn't add up. You losing purse bids to Alexander Povetkin, but you got $50 million. It don't add up. It doesn't add up. That's all I'm saying. Like, they moving. They not moving correct over there. I mean, both sides, honestly, man. But I expect a lot more from Deontay Wilder. I expect so much more from him. But he hasn't delivered, man. Personally, when it comes to Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz, I give him credit for that fight, man. I give him credit for that win. I'm not like these other dudes, man. Like I gave him, I give him credit for beating Luis Ortiz. We could break it down further, but it's no need to, man. Like we could say, who did Luis Ortiz beat? What belts did he? What belts did he pick up throughout his career? None. He beat nobody. He beat what? Jennings turned off a loss? But on the other side of that, you got a guy that really nobody, want, no one else wanted to fight him. If, if we keep it real, nobody else wanted to fight Luis Ortiz. So, of course, I got to give Deontay Wilder credit for that. But was Luis Ortiz juiced up? I mean, what was up with this this high blood pressure stuff, man? Was he ju was he juicing? Like what? It's so much like other shit behind the scenes. Like you can't give nobody credit nowadays. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just keeping it real. I don't hate Deontay Wilder. I just expect more from him as the WBC heavyweight champion of the world. You know, a lot of people be like, "Oh, well, how come you support Spence?" You support Crawford. You support all these other all these other American fighters, except for Deontay Wilder. Because I don't think Deontay Wilder is making the right moves. He ain't been making the right moves. You 40 and 0. You supposed to have bodies on your record. Anthony Joshua got bodies on his record, man. In half the fights, I don't know how many times they gotta say this shit. It's not. We not talking shit about Wilder. We just presenting facts, man. He not the A-side. It's okay. It's all right not to be the A-side. But to be the A-side, you can beat the A-side. But sometimes you got to take less money, man. Look, I'm off topic here. Tyson Fury about to get knocked the fuck out inside of six rounds. He think he's confident. He think he's going to win this fight. He not winning this fight. He going to get that beard knocked off his face. It's going to fly into the crowd and land on some baby's face. He's going to be laid out on the, on the ground. Listen, I'm painting the picture for you. Listen up. Tyson Fury, eyes glazed over, 
laid out on his back, speaking in tongue, looking up at the sky, looking up in the in the lights in Vegas on some. I cashed myself out. Why'd I do that? Why didn't I take another fight? I knew I wasn't ready. I just sold my O and my Lanil status. Hitman Boxing, drop a comment, like the video, subscribe. I'm out.